Welcome back. This is our fourth video in the series of our stainless steel braided PTFE hose assembly. Uh, we've already showed you how to collar the hose, how to expand it, how to insert the fitting, and now Austin is going to show us how to crimp it. On the left you see some different dies that we use. Um, our machine of choice today is the D105. Uh, we we like this machine. It goes from dash 3 up to dash 16. And it's an easy machine to use and it's very accurate. Okay, Austin's going to start by showing you the crimp die that we'll be using for this dash 6 hose. For dash 6 hose, we like to use a 10 millimeter die. So I just pop in like this. We've got an o ring that goes right on top that crimps the metal when you push it down. Here's the, here's the pusher. If that pushes up from the hydraulic portion to give it the force. Um, it's magnetized, so when Austin put that in there, it sucks back up on top of it. Um, that way it takes it out of your way when you need to put the hose in the bottom of the uh, machine. You know what, if we could take that off for just a second, Austin, we could show them how the hose comes up through there. So Austin's just going to take that back off. So the hose will get um, inserted from the bottom of the machine. And once all that's back on there, it'll sit on those dies right on the nut. So you can kind of see how Austin's showing you that there. And that's where it'll get crimped on the collar. Or ferrule as some people call it. You see how that locks in there. It won't go nowhere. Alright, so Austin can actually reassemble it while it's in there. That's okay to do. Um, the what you're looking for on this is going to be the, the final crimp dimension which is provided by who, the different manufacturers of fittings. This one is a .478 to .482 in inches. So we will get our calipers out after we crimp this and check it out. So you want to go ahead and crimp it Austin? Yeah. Oh. And he's got a micrometer on the right there that he sets to adjust the crimp, how tight he wants it. So now Austin's going to check it with the calipers. This is an important step because this ensures if it's going to pass or leak potentially. So you see he's between the 0.478, just a little below to... It can go up to 482. So it changes, but depending on where you hit it on the hose. All right, uh, that concludes uh, assembly. Now what we would do is just crimp the other end, and then if it was required for testing, we'd send it off to the pressure testing or off to inspection and packaging. Thanks a lot for watching our video.